Many have searched for the truth on the mysteries of our world. But in reality, there are no mysteries, only a lack of information. These are the unveiled mysteries of light. In 1969, Juan Morris, an amateur speleologist, was exploring a system of tunnels and caves beneath Ecuador. These underground galleries are called Cueva de los Tios, since in these tunnels there are night birds called in that way. On July 21, 1969, Juan Morris deposited a notarial title deed signed by several witnesses with a notary in Guayaquil saying, I have discovered valuable objects of great cultural and historical value to mankind. The objects consist mainly of metal plaques inscribed with what is a resume of the history of a lost civilization. We don't have the slightest idea of this issue so far. There are dimensional doors produced by vortexes that not only allow to travel through time, but also to travel to parallel universes. They are quantum portals. Did Morris pass through that dimensional door? Correct. Did he not know or did he see the portal and pass through it? No, he passed through it unexpectedly. So, there was nothing that could indicate the presence of that portal? No, nothing. And where did he go? He went directly to a parallel universe. Are we talking about a dimensional portal or a quantum portal? Both are synonymous terms. Now I understand. Concretely, then, just by chance or fate let us call it in that way Juan Morris passed through a dimensional door unexpectedly and he found himself in one of the 22 parallel universes. Am I correct? That's correct. Does the universe to which Morris passed through have some special peculiarity? Yes, it is not like the others, it is a different universe from the universe we live in. I don't understand. In all the other parallel universes, there are similar beings to us, when I say us I include myself because I was also incarnated in this world however, the universe to which this person passed through is different. I still don't understand. What is the difference? Aren't there people similar to us? No, they are not similar to us. So would that universe be an exception? Correct. And what did Juan Morris find there? He found a Neanderthal civilization. I don't understand why you said that it was a different universe from ours. Weren't Neanderthals also part of our universe? Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon races, from whom we descend, both races cohabited together. Homo sapiens sapiens as well as Cro-Magnon are on the planet Earth for around 100,000 years, and it has already been said that they were practically 60,000 years without any sign or spark of intelligence in the mental decoder. A spirit like me could embody in one of them, but the mental decoder, brain, was not capable to transmit abstract thinking. The being Homo sapiens used to eat, have sexual intercourse, etc., but he didn't have abstract thinking. Almost 40,000 years ago something woke up in him, in his decoder, and then he began transmitting spiritual concepts. With the Homo Neanderthalensis from that parallel universe exactly the same thing happened, they cohabited. The Homo Neanderthalensis existed up until 18,000 years ago, which means that during thousands of years, both races cohabited together Homo Neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens sapiens. The Neanderthal had a even higher skull capacity than the Homo sapiens had, and I'll give you the latest news. From the parallel universe to which Morris passed through there were already passes in the part of Canada. I don't understand when you say passes. There was travel, by means of a physical artifact. Do you mean a machine? Exactly. I didn't know we had built a machine to travel to parallel universes. It was the other way around. There were Neanderthal beings from that parallel universe that traveled to this universe. Now I understood. There was a Neanderthal scientist from that parallel universe who discovered the way to travel to this universe in the area of Canada. Is this event well known among scientists? No, not at all. It is still something secret. Is there any proof about this? Yes, there are many proofs. They have even taken pictures. Let's see if I understand. 
this Neanderthal scientist came from another parallel universe, he passed to our universe and he made contact with human scientists in Canada. Is that so? Correct. And nobody knows about this, except these few scientists who are keeping this secret? Correct, but one of the scientists commented the event to a writer, and this writer wrote about the topic, although disguising it as a science fiction story. Is that writer well known? No, he is unknown, although he has won some awards, he calls himself Tyler. Well, first of all I want to clarify something which is confusing to me. Did that advanced scientist pass from our universe and cohabited with Neanderthals? No, he did not cohabit with Neanderthals, but rather that advanced scientist is a Neanderthal being. The Homo sapiens sapiens had disappeared in that parallel universe 18,000 years ago. So, contrary to what happened in our universe, in that parallel universe the Neanderthal race evolved? Correct. Even the Neanderthals from that parallel universe had a poor concept about humans. They affirmed that if his forehead was so wide and his chin was narrow, it was because humans were vegetarian and if his mouth was so small it was because he was idiotic and he dribbled. Are you referring to the humans from that parallel universe? Yes, I'm referring to the humans from that parallel universe. Neanderthal scientists thought that humans were like that. Now I understood. And they also thought that if the Homo sapiens sapiens became extinct 18,000 years ago, it was because his body was so flimsy that the beasts exterminated him. They thought things like that about humans. Now it is clear. Do they raise cattle like we do? Not only do they raise livestock, but there are also mammoths and mastodons. It's really unbelievable. I'm thinking that those Neanderthal scientists must be very advanced technologically in order to build machines capable to travel from one parallel universe to another. That's right, they have laboratories and they work on that. Were they also able to pass to other parallel universes? No, for the time being they passed only to our universe. Returning to Juan Morris, once he penetrated into the cave and unexpectedly he passed through a dimensional door. What did he find? I ask it because this person's stories are not concrete. His amazement was so huge that his mental decoder didn't accept what he saw and unconsciously he rejected it. But what did he find? He met Neanderthal beings. Did Morris contact with Neanderthals? That's right, Morris was frightened. These beings were dressed with uniforms, they had animals with them. The terrestrial conformation of Earth was also the same, with the same continents. The difference was that they were very few inhabitants compared to the inhabitants in our planet, they were hardly 700 million beings. Do they also have diversity of languages as we do? No, they speak a single language. Do they live in the same present that we live in? Correct. Did Morris talk to them? Correct. How? By means of a small computer, each one of the Neanderthal beings has a computer in wrist with several functions, one of them allows them to know, like a kind of control center, where they are in each moment and what they are doing. They are filmed permanently and for that reason there are no crimes in that parallel universe, they call that device the observer and it is like a chip. Is it similar to the gadget that the officers at Area 51 wear? Something like that. How long did Morris stay in that parallel universe? Around 15 days. But apparently he doesn't remember anything about that. I repeat that he erased it from his mind due to his inability to confront it. There was also an engram in him that prevented him to accept it. I understand. He simply thought that he passed through a dimensional door, but all those things he saw were part of a dream. Then, to him those things were not real? Correct. According to my research, Juan Morris brought from that parallel universe metallic plaques. Correct. In that parallel other universe, did they also travel to outer space as we did? Are they more advanced? No, they have not achieved that yet. They are dedicated more to quantum physics. Where are those metallic plaques that Morris claims to have found? I ask it because apparently they disappeared. The men in black from Area 51 took them. Did they find something useful in these plaques? No, nothing. And what about the famous writer Eric von Daniken? He is one of the most imaginative writers in the 20th century. Did he make everything up then? Correct. Wow, 
This is news to me. And what about Neil Armstrong, who declared to the press after having been three days in the Tio's caves that his visit to the underground world had surpassed his experience on the moon? That's not true. They are fantasies. Don't take them into account. Concretely, only one more has passed through the dimensional door, spent two weeks in that parallel world cohabiting with Neanderthal scientists, his mind rejected everything, and nobody else passed through that dimensional door, Neil Armstrong and the expedition didn't find anything of value in the caves, the metallic plaques were stolen by the men in black, and Eric von Däniken made everything up just to sell books. Is this correct? Correct. And what about the content of the four wooden boxes? Nothing that came from that parallel universe. I believe that this matter is clear. Would there be something more to say? No, except to say that the scientists from Canada were in a laboratory installed in a very deep cave making experiments with heavy water and they met with Neanderthal scientists from the other universe. This fact is known by very few people. What kind of laboratory is the one you mentioned? It is one of the well-known from Canada that experiments with heavy water. Are they still in contact? No, not at this moment the parallax is closed, but it was opened around 15 days. Can that parallax be opened from that other parallel universe or also from ours? No, only from that parallel universe, because in this universe scientists don't have the necessary technology to do it. Do these Neanderthal scientists believe in God, for example? No, not at all, they were even surprised that here we have crimes, that there are wars and that we don't have observers. Do you refer to the control devices? Correct, they have a very poor concept about us, the human beings, because when having so many beliefs, and even more of punishing God we live totally suffering from complexes. On the other hand the Neanderthals don't have guilt complexes, they don't have crimes, wars or traumas. They don't have engrams either because they have the observer device and they are filmed the 24 hours. Well, I don't know if I could stand being permanently watched over as if I were in jail. That would cut off my free will somehow. That was the same thing a terrestrial scientist said to the Neanderthal scientist, but he responded that their system was preferable because in this way they didn't have crimes and in spite of having 700 million inhabitants they didn't experience a number of deaths except for the case of old age or cancer. That argument is very consistent. And one of those terrestrial scientists asked to disclose the experience, and they responded, do it, anyway nobody is going to believe you. Will they be in contact or they will never do it again? From the little that I could perceive from the Thetan of the Neanderthal scientist when he was here, the idea was that they planned to contact again. Was Juan Morris the only person who passed to a parallel universe? No, here on Earth there were also other human beings. But always by chance? Correct. Can a terrestrial being be taken to another parallel universe by somebody that comes from another parallel universe? Yes, of course, there is no problem. How about Area 51? Did they achieve the technology to travel to other parallel universes? I ask it because we know that there are also extraterrestrials over there. No, not yet. Well, I'll conclude the topic here. Thank you.